Welcome to Ogle's channel. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about the cheese Astel Stars of Darkness at the Yellow Annex Tunnel in Elden Ring. Now, this boss is a little bit more difficult than some of the others, but hey, we can work our way through it. So as soon as you head into the fall gate, throw your summon out immediately. And I mean immediately, and then roll immediately to your left behind the door here. And you gotta be pretty quick, otherwise you'll get hit with the um, this, uh, beam that he's gonna shoot out at you. But you're protected behind that door. After the beam comes through, at this point, you're gonna wanna run up to the boss and wait for him to attack your summon. When he attacks your summon, you're going to want to throw out your rotten breath and get Scarlet Rot on him. It will only take one really good dose of being locked on him and throwing it out there for it to take an effect. Once it takes effect, you're going to want to roll backwards or just simply run away to the opposite side of the arena so you have as much distance between you and him as possible. When you're this far apart, he's only going to do a few separate moves. One move he's going to do is shoot his crystal beam at you. All you need to do is hide behind these little stone pillars or these little crystal pillars and it will hit those instead of hitting you and disintegrate those. You'll have to move every so often, but it's very easy to avoid his attack this way. You can also just dodge right before he gets to you, but it's easier just standing behind the crystal rocks. The other move he's going to do is he's going to throw his tail at you, and when he does this, just put your shield up. He's not going to break your poise, and you should be completely fine with no damage. He'll do it twice sometimes. It won't break it even with two hits. You should be completely fine. And the third move he might do is just simply disappear and then reappear, but if you're far enough away, he just reappears in almost the same spot over and over and over. He only teleports when you're close to him. So by staying far away, you're really just shortening his move list down to shooting a beam or hitting you with his tail. Both easy to avoid and you can have that scarlet rot eating away at him while you're just sitting back doing almost nothing. Super easy to do. Now when his health gets about halfway, this is where phase two begins. You'll know where phase two begins because this little purple cloud sky will come around him and he'll start shooting out asteroids at you. When he does this, it's really easy to dodge it. You just simply have to start running as fast as you can, left or right, and also roll while you're running, especially toward the end of the rocks coming down. And that way, just in case one gets a little close, you should be able to dodge out of it. The other new movie has in phase two is where he teleports and then he has all of these shadow versions of himself come out and try to grab you um, inside the arena. When you see them come down, what you need to do is focus on the one in front of you and sort of roll into it a little bit and you should be able to just simply dodge it that way. Now, when he has these new moves going on is also when the Scarlet Rot wears off. So you have to reapply the Scarlet Rot. The best time to reapply the Scarlet Rot is after that little shadow move I just mentioned. After he does that, he'll teleport back, and when he teleports, there's a great opportunity for you to go ahead and just blast him with that rotten breath and get him scarlet rotted again. The other good times to do it is just wait until he's attacking your summon and you know it's a pretty safe time period. You can easily get the scarlet rot out then as well, but you're going to want to get your rotten breath and scarlet rot going on him as soon as possible, and when you do that, just simply once again run to the other side of the arena and try to get him to go back to doing the same moves in phase one. The only difference is he's more likely to do the rock shower, but that's easy to avoid. Do the rock shower, but that's easy to avoid. Just run left and right, and you should be able to dodge all of them. And eventually, the Scarlet Rot will eat away his entire health. Phase two is certainly harder than phase one. However, if you just remember those few tips about running left and right for the rock shower, and dodging into and rolling into when he does the shadow grabs, you should be okay from there as well. And you'll have defeated one of the hardest bosses in Elden Ring. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Elden Ring cheese videos listed up above. As always, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great rest of the day.